Gators ready. Blue team ready. Seventy-three Caprice Classic, and it's the Gucci car. Shout out to Candy on Chrome, man. Ah, right, here Wild and Daddy Daycare, former NFL player. All right. Oh, the man, the myth, the legend. I don't know if it's the car or if it's me, but it takes a team to build something like this. to my self-esteem. Y'all ready? Gladiators ready. Blue team ready. Y'all ready? Red team ready. Okay. All right, I'm scared. Caprice Classic and it's a Gucci car. This is the car that's been everybody's been waiting to see it come out. This is the LT4. We started the car probably about two and a half years ago. It's been a long time coming. Everybody thinks the car is black. We're gonna do some outside pictures for you to show you that the car is green. LT4, all custom made reservoirs, heat exchange, everything. You see how clean the compartment is. You're not gonna get a car like this unless you spend the money to build a car like this. Every single nut and bolt on this car, inside the bumper's been painted. Everything has been done to this car. So many custom made pieces on it. But attention to detail is what gets it. The car is the car, but the attention to detail is what makes a car. Completely redone grill. Uh, got that from uh, Omar, so if y'all need some things, you can hunt Omar down and try to get him. That's a shout out for you, Omar. Kenny, um, what was the budget on this car? This car was $220,000, which ain't bad because it's got 172 in parts. You know, you see the paint. You know, it took probably, it probably took Dave 250 hours to bodywork this car. So that's the kind of detail that's put into the car. As you see the interior, all the cut, all the seats are custom. Everything is custom. Door hinge has been taken off, taken apart, powder coated, completely put back together. I mean, even the ID badge has been addressed on the car. Um, we hit that with a little all real gold. And everything is all billet brushed around all the speakers. Everything is billet brushed. You know, we were gonna do shiny, but he's not gonna maintain it so I'm not gonna do shiny but as you can see the car don't even have a key it doesn't have a shifter it doesn't have none of that stuff everything is here it's all push button you put your foot down on the gas like that and then you hit the button and it'll start up the whole entire car is a fob I'll explain that to you later basically you do not need no keys for this car except for the trunk really you walk up to it, it unlocks um, you walk away from it it locks itself um, 
these are just you know upgraded and updated stuff we do we're trying to elevate our builds you know that's the main goal is to elevate our builds But cool things like these are all the windows. This is a convertible top. You know, this is uh, the interior lights. This is headlights. You know, it's it's got every button, the vintage AC. You know, as you can see, that AC vent is gone that was there. So this has been cut, shortened. This has all been cut and shortened. See, we got the 93 on the steering wheel for Eric's number. This is Eric Walden's car. Yeah, he's over there. You can get some footage of him when we go outside because he's ecstatic about the car. He was yelling and screaming when he came in this morning. So maybe you can get, uh, let's go talk to him and see what he got to say. How you I don't know not to feel, but nah, man, it's just, uh, like I said, man, I feel like kind of outdone myself. Didn't expect it. We game planned it. Many conversations. Probably yeah, cut each other out a couple times. Argue everything. How stressful was it building this car? Um, what, I wasn't too stressful. Yeah, I just told him the idea. Sat me down in the office, came up with a game plan. Yes, no, you like. Kind of just when they finalized it, put their sauce on it. Give me what He's I, got what extra I think sauce. on. <laughs> yeah, you see, I you came see out, it. man. <laughs> Definitely. You see it? That's the baddest one I think in, in, in the United Definitely States. Definitely exceeded expectations. I, I tell you that, you exceeded that. Yeah. I ain't seen nothing like it. And don't at me, none of that. I don't care. I don't care about nobody don't, none of that. This is it, this is what we came up with. That's why I did it, man. Hey, do you have any of like these cars, Eric? Or is this your first? The first one. First, yeah. That was you got a box Chevy, though. I got a box, but it ain't going to be like this. <laughs> Well, I'm from, you know, anybody who's doing well for themselves and they had one of these, it was top notch. So What's your favorite part about this car, about this build? What? I just think, like, from every aspect of it, we sat down collectively and kind of like detailed. It wasn't like, well, we're going to take this from somebody else's car, but we're going to take it. It's like we sat down, game planned it. I gave her my visual and it came out better. And I visualize, so really couldn't have the much more. What you're gonna do is put the last finishing touches on this car. This is what everybody been waiting for, so this makes it official. And every... Yeah, we measure everything before we do anything. Oh, Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's... You know what it is. Custom made. Yeah, 
Appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate bringing my my visual to life, bro. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Every day I worked on it, I thought about how nice it was gonna be for you. You know what I'm saying? Real, real good retirement gift, man. Oh, look at you. And I appreciate you being right Absolutely. with your paperwork. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. I know you don't cuss me Always out Always coming of times. when I call. You yeah, know, I'm you know firm, I mean? but I'm fair. This is a 1971 we got in. Listen, man, we fixing to go to town on this car. So we gonna let y'all watch us build this car along with the next two cars we're building so you guys can see kind of where we're going with stuff but listen this car right here all you gonna see from this car right here this car right here all you gonna see is the bumper when that bitch flying past you so get ready we coming Oh yeah, the one thing I can tell a customer is how much your paint on, in cans on the ground is gonna be and how much it's gonna be to lay the paint on the car. Body work, assembly, reassembly, disassembly. Man, I don't know. What kind of car you got? How good a shape is it in? Am I gonna have a gang of rusted bolts to take out? It's like a female. You know, everyone has attitudes and all of them are different. All these mugs got rust and all of it's different. I've never done two that have the same exact rust. Although I've never done two where the customer, this one and that one said, I don't give a damn, I don't want no Bondo. That's how you end up with 200 hours of body work because you're hammering dolly and dents out rather than filling them with Bondo. If you want Bondo, we'll give you Bondo. But you can't expect the car to look like this for $10,000 paint job, not gonna happen. So I would say more towards 25 for a paint job like this. So this car has no Bondo on it? None, just skim coats, just skim, just skim, take dents out. You want me to explain? Come here, let me show you real quick. See this little car? There was a dent here. See it at an angle? There was a dent there. We hammered and dollied the dent out, but you can only get metal so perfect. But when I wipe my filler on there, my filler is only going to be thick in a couple spots. The rest of it is going to be skimmed. So if you want that, then you get that. But that is a different price than just going over top of what's there. So when you take these cars down to bare metal, any car, especially an old car, you get to pay for every mistake anybody's ever made wrecking this car at any point in time of its life and then on top of that if it was wrecked in the 80s and the 70s man they don't do work like us they don't do that so this probably went to a dealer and got fixed and now it's got a dent where they put bondo in it we don't know we can't see through it the only way we know is if we take it down to bare metal some people don't even want you to take it down to bare metal but then they bitch about bubbles but they didn't go and put the effort and time into what it takes to do that kind of stuff. So that being said, you can do whatever you want to do. This car, you know, like this is where we've spot welded. These will be tiny little spots of filler. This little tiny thing right here, we can't get to it. So when he comes time, he's gonna grind this area and put a pin puller on it and try to pull it out a little bit more take his hammer hammer and dolly get it down and then basically just put a little skim coat these are the differences in paint 